Ooh, we're going to make, make your next party even better. We're talking about taking the stress out of your next family event. And here to help is Carl and John from La Vera Catering and Event Center over on Chardon Road. What we're town is that in? Willoughby Hills. Willoughby Hills. I go by there. It's a beautiful looking spot. You guys been there a while, huh? 72 years last week. And you've been there the whole time? You're not 72. <laughs> no, no, no. My grandparents. Uh, yeah. Larry and Vera Gaudio started. So this is, this is a family tradition. Yep. Three generations old. How about you? How long have you been there? Uh, 18 years. Eight. So this is, you guys have been doing this yeah, for a while. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so we're, we're talking about, what are you making here, first of all? I'm making our traditional cavadils with uh, marinara sauce, and I got a couple meatballs over here, and some, uh, and put it with some chicken bacata. It's one of our biggest graduation yeah. meals. Which is a great thing to be thinking about right now. I've been to weddings at your place and other events, fundraisers and that sort of thing. It's a, it's a great facility, but... Having your skills come to your home, to somebody's home as a party is pr really what we're talking about today. Yeah, make you, you know, make you be a guest at your own event. Okay, so guess. so how do people go about it? Like, what in terms of uh, figuring out what they want to do? Do you have a party planner, or how does it work? Right so, behind. pretty much me. You know, what they'll do? Somebody will call and just say, "I'm going to have a, a wedding off-site, or I want to have a wedding at La Vera's. Um, easiest way is to go right to our website first, but you can always call, and we'll get you all set up. Okay, so, so do you have to come to the site sometimes no. to figure out what you're going to do? No. So you I can do everything, uh, virtual, Zoom. He can do everything. I love when somebody <laughs> says they can do everything because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you all the time. <laughs> Please. Because sometimes Please. I feel like I can't do anything. So what do you got going on over here, John? So I'm going to put the marinara sauce on the cavadils, mix it up a little bit. And then earlier we prepared a piece of chicken piccata that I'll put on the dish also. So where do you buy your sauce? Who do you buy your sauce from? <laughs> that one hurts. That's it below the belt. <laughs> so these guys looked at me like they wanted to kill me. Scratch everything in our kitchen, scratch made. I love that. Everything scratch made. The cavatel? The cavatels? Yeah. The meatballs? So how many cavatels do you make? When you sit down to make cavatels, how many are you going to make? We're making a, a 50 pound batch at a time. 50 pounds at a time. Yep. So you could freeze them and then bring them out? Yeah. 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 And that's the only way to do it. Yeah. So I love the idea of the sauce thing because I saw the sauce dash over here, which yeah. looks really good. Yeah. So if, you're, so if you wanted to use this as your main dish at the party, what do you tell them that you want? What's on our plate here? On our plate is our, uh, again, what John was alluding to, is our homemade cavadels. Mm -hmm. Our, my grandmother's recipe for meatballs. We still make every meatball from scratch, roll every meatball, and our chicken piccata. So, so you know, Nolly is here right now. She just take this from yeah. me right now. She <laughs> here and she, and give it a, a couple tries yeah. over here. Yeah. Fork. Got some forks for so you. So there you go. Hey, so let's, look, might as well try this, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> See what's happening here. So, what makes a cavatel special? What makes it ricotta like a, cheese? You got to put a little bit of ricotta cheese in it. What do you think of that, John? Good. Our resident, <laughs> resident Italian in the corner. He runs the camera, so that's right. how we get that's how we get the good yeah. shot here. And who makes the meatballs? You, where do you where do you buy those? Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of meatballs get rolled. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to touch it all with my fork because I know some other people are going to want to try this. But the meatballs look great. Well, that's a that's an amazing plate for an event. Yeah. So when you when you figure this, so if, if you're going to figure this, like, for 100 people, mm -hmm. what kind of dessert would you want to include with this? I would do anything from our homemade uh, tiramisu. Where it's, do you buy that? <laughs> homemade. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Boy, meatballs, great. Meatballs are tricky, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can't overmix them. Oh, now we're going to look at the place. <laughs> look at this. Don't do it at your house. I love this. I've been to a bunch of events there, and it's a great vibe. Yeah. I mean, you walk in, it's like walking into another world. And it's all, we, every few years we remodel, we just replace all the chandeliers, we replace the dance floors. How small a party can you do there? We can scale down to about 50 people and go up to 750 people. Yeah. What happens there? That's where your DJ sets up. That's where Dean Martin played. Did he? Yes, Dean Martin's played under that. Do you remember that? I, I wish I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I met Dean Martin one time. He was, he was pretty old. I don't think he knew he was Dean Martin anymore. <laughs> but, but, but that's going back quite, quite a ways here. Yeah. How much uh, lead time do you guys need? Like somebody's starting to plan graduation. So graduation right. parties are a few weeks. Yeah. Um, they're, they're easy and it's in a few weeks. Yeah, yeah. Graduation season's starting right now. Um, weddings, if you're date specific. Mm hmm two years. I mean, we're booked out to wow. 2025 right now. That's amazing. Yeah. What about the sauces over here? Retail we're, we're sauce. We were talking, yeah. about, talking about the sauce. Like, yeah. So somebody, you guys make it, but somebody can buy it now. Yes, where, where do they get it? 
every major grocery store, farmer's market in Northeast Ohio's got it. Okay, we got a couple of dishes we want to talk about real quick here. This looks like some kind of pork loin. Pork, yeah, pork tenderloin, grilled mm -hmm. pork tenderloin with our garlic mashed potatoes and oven roasted vegetables. Could that this, be a filet mignon? Yeah, that, that could be a filet mignon. So <laughs> this is favorite. the prototypical wedding uh, meal. Yeah. Duet plate, nice filet with chicken piccata. And this is my all-time favorite. It's a Sanibel chicken. I actually had it in uh, on vacation uh -huh. in the Tommy Bahamas. It's awesome. Boars and cheese, roasted red peppers. So when you were there, were you, taking, were you taking pictures, right? No, so John was right next to me, and I'm like, dude, how do we do this? And he's like, <laughs> he goes, I think we can replicate this. And then I got I do it everywhere else. I go. Yeah. I'm yeah. taking pictures. Yeah. Of the oh, he's taking pictures of my food. I said, because it's, it's beautiful. I'm actually stealing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is an amazing dish. Yeah, that's great. Hey, so you guys are on Chardon Road, yep. Lavera Catering. Uh, give them a call. Uh, you need some ideas. They'll give you the ideas, then you can figure out where to go from there, especially Absolutely. for graduation. We've got yeah. a lot of weddings coming up. Yep. And maybe uh, maybe you could even squeeze in some last-minute weddings if they're Absolutely. small, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Any so, availability that we can You guys are very friendly men. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you. Pleasure meeting you. Hey, thank you. you. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you.